Hi, my name's Amanda Branston from Lavinia Stamps. Welcome to Mandy's Makes. Today's technique is acrylic paint on lobster paper. I like, when I get a new product, I like to experiment, see what it'll work on. And one of the things I couldn't wait to do was try this out on the fabulous lots of paper. Now it seems a bit delicate you might think, but actually it can be really strong. The only time you have to be careful is when it's wet and these work beautifully on them. Let's start. I'm going to start with this one. This is a painting technique. So it's direct onto the locked paper. Get a sheet of locked paper. Make sure I've only got one. It, it is fine. So now there's a right and a wrong side or rather a smooth and a textured side. Now it's up to you which you think is the right or wrong. I like the smooth side facing. So I'm going to choose three colours. Start with something bright and sunny, honeybee. Now acrylic paint, once it's dry, is permanent. So you can use it on just about anything. I'm sure you've seen some of the samples and the videos that are going around with these. They are absolutely amazing. So be careful. Always have a bowl of water close by so you can wash any items you may use. Now I'm going to paint this on directly with a mop brush and this is size two. Plenty of water mixed in with those paints and then just apply. This is when the lots of paper becomes delicate, so do be careful. And it will blend. Now, like I say, make sure you wipe up any excess as quick as you can. I like to put a little piece of kitchen paper on top of some white paper to dry this. This is when it's at its most delicate, so do be careful. It will move, mop up some of that fluid and let's dry it, see what happens. Ooh, that will come out, trust me, it will. <laughs> Once lots of papers dry, it's really quite strong. Look at those glorious colours. That's the textured side and that's the smooth side. On my sample, I used the Tree of Wisdom stamped using Verse Fine Claire Not Turn, uh, Metallion's script from the Psychic Sign set, because it's March the 10th to April the 9th, it seemed very fitting. And I used the Verse Fine Claire Summertime for that. I coloured the tree in using the Uniball metallic pens and painted the leaves on, again, with the acrylic paint. For our second sample, I'm going to use the dip technique. So like we would with inks, we can apply this direct to our mats. So I'm going to use acrylic chalk, just a little, and this Snow White. I'm going to blend these onto my mat, again, using the mop brush to add that fluid, that water, and mop some of that white. We can blend it on the mat directly. Again, make sure you've got one sheet of locked paper. And this time I'm going to put, put the flat side straight down into that paint. Don't try and drag this through, you will whip, rip the paper. We can spread that paint out again with the mop brush Once again, we're going to dry it off. There we go. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So beautiful. I love this, this gentle, soft blend. So for my sample this time, I used the tall dandelion and the wild summer flower with the Versifying Claire Charming Pink. The script is see a fairy and make a wish just adds that extra little magic to it. The white on top, again, is the, the acrylic paint. It's perfect for this. It's lovely to have a white that'll sit on top of things. That's probably my favorite. But for the final one, gel press, a stencil. This is Orchid. And I'm going to use Thistle Mist. It's beautiful, deep, rich color. Just a little. 
water lily and I'm going to use just a little cream this is the vanilla cream my acrylic brayer to blend that through all over gorgeous clean off my brayer and put it into water the stencil over the top and I'm going to use now you can use a piece of multifarious if you want to use this background I'm going to use some copy paper but I do like to use it as backing card afterwards or backing paper it's beautiful for lots of reasons and lots of things so give it a good rub look at that great isn't it <laughs> peel off the stencil and pop that straight in water also and then our locked paper choose a section if we go there then we can use the other side to pick up this bottom it's a good rub wow i love it now i'm going to pick this bottom piece up just to cover that in too. Now the one thing you don't have to worry about is what's left on your gel press. That actually will add to the next project I use. It'll layer it. So I'm going to save that as it is. So as you can see, it works beautifully from the stencil. So this time for my sample, I used Ash, the Orchid stencil, a small hill mask, a circle mask, mulberry elements that I brushed around the mask, and sacred spells. You can see the script in the background. And that was Versifying Claire. And I believe that was Acorn. Finished with a little bit of glitter pen. Actually, that is Wink of Stella. Now these can be stuck glued taped to card it's a nice it's not far off the dl size so i could trim that down for dl cards they just make it they're just something a little bit special i like to think so i hope you enjoyed that give it a try you never know quite what's going to happen until you give it a go take care now come and join me again sometime soon Thank you. Bye-bye.